before I get everyone, how are y'all doing? Because personally, I'm doing absolutely fucking awful. I would be very content with life if I just ceased right now. And no worries, that's just a little bit of light existential crises humor for you lads. There's no need to actually worry about me. Self-deprecation is all the rage nowadays with you kids, including myself. I'm a fucking idiot. As you guys might be able to tell though, the setup I'm in is a little scuffed at the moment. If the echo didn't give it away already. I'm literally walking in dog shit right now, like my prosthetic legs are getting all gummed up. But luckily they aren't able to actually feel how grimy it is. If I was a human with actual legs that had nerve endings and all that gay shit, I'd imagine that it would really suck. Now recently, you guys may have seen that meme of people equipping different things into imaginary armor slots in Minecraft to make something. Like to make PewDiePie, you take Jack's films, bitch lasagna, and some other things, and you get the essence of the young sweet. Also fun fact, you can equip armor by holding it in your hand in Minecraft and right clicking. I learned that the other day and I've already used it three times. Absolute godsend. But in addition to that, I've been seeing a bunch of other Minecraft related images that just really plunge a pike into my soul. It just goes right in the very essence of my being, and I gotta be real with you here, shit kind of stinks. And of course, like the genius I am, I decided it would be a great video idea to force myself to look at even more of these cursed things. And cursed they are, if you disagree, you are lying to yourself and your mother. Now go apologize to her before she cries over the feeling that a relationship with her kids is falling apart and that it's because she failed as a mother. Comfort her and talk to her with open minds on both ends so that both of you can come to an understanding of one another. Oh, and also as motivation for this video, I've just been playing Minecraft a lot recently for literally no reason, and I just happen to also be streaming it on Twitch a lot when I play as well. An account which you can follow at twitch.tv slash quite in order to find out when I go live. Oh my god! So my recent tirade of Minecrafting has also sparked my interest in these memes once more though. Anyways, on Twitter, I made the mistake once again of asking you all to help me with a video, a mistake I most definitely will be repeating in the future because hey, a lot of the time you guys do pull through and fucking deliver on this stuff. Send some cursed Minecraft images, please thanks, I said. And now that I've said it, I can't take it back. I mean, theoretically, I could take it back by deleting the tweet, but that's one too many clicks for me. So it's time to react to your submissions until this video hits 10 plus fucking minutes. It's go time, boys! Okay, here's that really, really, really misguided tweet I made that I asked you guys for fucking cursed Minecraft images. First one we have is from Abby. Ah, one of my Twitch and Discord mods. One of the people who has been in my Twitch stream. Abby XXL joined the game. Abby XXL fell from a high place. Abby left the game, Abby joined the game, Abby fell from a high place. Yeah, Abby has this big fuck off tree house and she keeps dying because she falls off instead of actually building it. You can see the signs in her fucking house. It's disgusting how many signs there are just making fun of her for it. It's kind of great though. Ah, uh, we have this classic, this image. So as you guys all know, the max amount of items you can have a stack in Minecraft is 64. But here we have a stack of iron ingots that bends the laws of the world. 65. The cursed number. I don't know who originally made this. I don't know if this is like somebody fucking hacked into the game or they just photoshopped it. I'm assuming Photoshop, but whoever you are, you're an evil person. You're a bad person. <laughs> Therapist. Nether chest isn't real. He can't hurt you. Nether chest exists. See, I've seen a lot of people saying like this, like the nether chest is a real thing. He's as real as Hero Run. Like you can't get rid of him as much as you want to believe it. As much as Mojang will tell you that they removed it from the game, they fucking didn't. They're lying to you. I mean, there's clearly an image of nether chest right here in some kind of wooden containment box. I think the real question is though, is the wooden box there supposed to keep the nether chest from getting out or what comes through it from getting out or to stop people from getting in? Ah, we have here golden boots, golden pants, a golden chest plate, and an iron helmet. Is it a bullet, a nuclear? your warhead or a condom. Whatever it is, it has a face where the eyes and the mouth are on the same line of pixel. Disturbing! I hope it's doing okay. It looks very dead inside. No, you get my dog only. Well, I cannot say I'm mad about this turn of events. It's a very cute dog. What a good boy. Just give him pets for me, okay, bitch? I will take not getting a Minecraft meme. That's a beautiful dog. I wish it nothing but love and happiness. Thank you. She licked my phone for you as a thanks. Ah, we have some cunt who gave us a bunch of- Oh, oh, that's- that's a ro- that's too much at once. That's too much at once. Oh, that's half a door with the texture pack. I don't like that much. I think that might actually be possible with like the ocean up there. Like I could swear to God that I've seen shit like that on ships. So is that cursed or is that just new to the game? Ooh, that, that stinks. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. These nether portal ones are really gonna grate on me, aren't they? No, the, the edges are supposed to be obsidian and the corners are allowed to be empty, but not the other way around, no. The portal's in danger, dude. How is it supposed to support itself? One that's surrounded and protected by obsidian can just be destroyed by a creeper explosion. This one only has air. That's just disgusting. That's disgusting. Who made this? A two block high chest. Yes. Disgusting. I don't know if it's the chest that makes me angriest or the furnace that's like the most to the right that looks kind of skewed. It's not even that bad of a skew, it's just like just enough that it like puts me off and it hurts me. Okay, that just looks like fucking Lincoln logs. <laughs> just circles in general, 
It's bad for the soul, it's bad for the vibes, it's not okay. Hey guys, I have a surprise for you. I don't like this image much either. I think one of the most interesting tidbits about Minecraft that I know for no reason is that Notch can't remember if he made Bedrock actually invincible, or if he made just the value to like make it break is so high that it's ridiculously impossible to reach. Like the amount of TNT that it would take to destroy it is just like would crash the game. Honestly, I kind of like the design on this one. I might get fucking stabbed for saying that, but I don't know why. I like the outside look of the vlog. Yeah, no, this one doesn't bother me that much. Ooh, long chest. Ooh, ooh, it's extended out, brother. It's extended out. That one doesn't bother me as much as like the one that's tall because this like, it almost looks like it could be like that. It's just like the, the little lock on the chest needs to be on the other side. This hurts. <sighs> I'm keeping it together the best I can. I'm doing everything in my power to not just fucking lose it! This one stings, but it stings less than the other one. It's just a little bit. Like I said, you're allowed to put cobblestone porters on the obsidian portal, and then you can destroy the cobblestone later, but it's not vice versa, that's not allowed. This one, at least, the portal is whole, so like, it's kind of okay. And it's made entirely out of parts you might actually see on a portal, so I, I think I can live with that. I don't know though, there's just, there's just something about these nether portal ones that like, really just feel like I've lost my spleen. Not that I have any organs to lose because hoodie and all, but you know. Ooh, I actually saw a thing about this. Uh, uh, as well, except not with wood blocks. There's a way to make vertical half blocks. So apparently what you need is like, there's like this weird ender piston thing, which I didn't even know exists until I looked up how to do this, if it was even possible. But if you use a gravity affected block, like concrete, sand, or gravel, or some shit, you can use this ender piston thing to just slightly push it over the edge. So it's not entirely off a block, but it's like halfway there and it just stays there. There might be more to it, but that's all I fucking remember. So it's kind of slick IMO. Ah, oh, there's the one, there's the one, round. Round, rotundus. Something that's not even like vaguely circular that like maybe could be made out of squares if you give it enough time. Nope, this is just a this is just a fucking hot tub. I think the worst part is though that like even though the edges and the water going into it are round, the seats on the inside are still stairs and they're just cobbled together very poorly. This image was literally just made to hurt people. Whoever created this did so with malicious intent. They knew what they were doing. I respect the hustle though. This is supposed to hurt, but all I can think of is Zoot Tycoon 2. All I can think of is like just terraforming the geography to like make different fucking weird zoo things. I think I used to push zoo goers into the animal entrapments because I thought it was funny. I don't remember. That's all this like round terraforming can make me think of at the moment. I don't know why. That one's not so cursed. I've always thought that Endermen should be able to carry more blocks than what they're allowed to. This one makes me happy. The Enderman should be able to carry TNT if he wants to. He should be able to blow up in the water if he so chooses. Freedom! Go get him, little guy. Go get him. All right, here's a cave looking like an actual cave with angles and shit. Don't like that much at all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What is the thought process? For one, deciding in the first place to make images like this. Images that are only designed to hurt. But like, then you have to actually go through the process of doing it. Like, you A, you need to Photoshop it in. B, you need to change the texture of something to make it so that a solid object will look like this other object that's not solid in the base game. So you can just put the torch in it and hurt everybody who sees the image. How much pain do you think the people who make these things go through just to create them? God, the fucking dedication it takes. I simultaneously respect the grind and hate it. This one's not even cursed, it's just kind of wish fulfillment. I wish it was like Revenge of the Sith where you could make like lava boats and shit and just swim across the nether lava. That could be slick, that could be epic. This is less of a cursed image and more an image taken moments before disaster. Not even really disaster, just images taken before I make my fucking nether portal. A double ender chest? Oh my gosh, that's so cursed. It's not that cursed. The thing I'm getting from this compilation is that some of these images are like really cursed, others are not really. Some of them are actually just kind of concepts that might be interesting to introduce into Minecraft. That that one's no good. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope, not allowed. <laughs> oh, this is wrong in so many ways. Obviously, you can't put the torch on the door. Like, duh. W whatever, that's not the part that bothers me. The part that bothers me is the multiple rectangles going down in the shape of windows. It's just supposed to be the cross section right there and, and nothing else, no, nothing else. Why is there this stuff there? No, no, no. We got more piston ones. I think the worst part is you're using a redstone torch to power that instead of a lever. You could have used a button, a lever, but you used the redstone torch. Fair enough, you piece of shit. This one just makes me yearn for more shit that I wish we could do in Minecraft. Like put two different types of hash slabs on top of each other. That would be epic. What is this, fucking Pac-Man? I don't know. Ooh, that chest is just a big boy. Look at him go. I'm just thinking about how many bodies I could stuff under that one. I you know what I'm saying, huh? That looks like it would be fun to sit on if Minecraft would add the ability to sit on things. There's literally already an animation for it. You can saddle on horses, you can get in my carts, you can ride in boats, but you can't sit on chairs. There's nothing to sit on, bro. Why? 
The animation already exists. Just let it happen. Right, but that's just fucking disgusting. Who made this? Who made this one? Four torches in one block? What were you thinking? What was the thought process? Oh wait, there wasn't one. My toes, my soul, my fingers, everything is figuratively bleeding. Creeper pig and pig creeper. Yeah, the creeper pig is on the left, the pig creeper is on the right. And that gift took up a lot of fucking time. Uh, I think this reaction gift is probably the correct image to, to reply to this with. What the fuck did you just bring upon this cursed land? Couldn't agree more. Uh, 65 iron. We got the Minecraft Steve head. We've got the white leather armor. Ah, and of course, the pink leather pants. And what does it give us? Those fucking laced up converses all the way up to his fucking waist. <laughs> Me and the boys on our way to the group poop. Steve Cow was really on it, didn't he? Stop making sands and papyrus. <laughs> This one's killer in more ways than one. Uh, one, both sands and papyrus are skeletons, which are the skeletal structures of humans after the body, the rest of the body, the muscles and skin, have decomposed away. And also, when they spawn in, you're gonna fucking die. That's it. You might just die by looking at the image, to be fair. What are you That's not cursed. That's just a dope-ass texture pack, bro. Why you hating? Because this guy's a better big rig than you? Ha, sucks to suck. Oh, this is so sad. Can we get 20,000 likes on this video? Probably not because my channel's dead. Rip Steve times four. I lost 40 levels of experience yesterday because I fell off of my friend's treehouse on my server. Press for free chocolate, colon D. Seam leg. Honestly, I would trust it. It seems trustworthy. Like they even went through the effort of putting up a sign and listen, if someone's gonna go through all that effort, they wouldn't trick me. They would be nice guys if they're willing to do all this. I would take the chocolate. This one's not so much a cursed Minecraft image as it is just a throwback, I guess. You remember that fucking butt kips meme? God. I am becoming the boomer. Ooh. Ooh, oh, this one strikes right at the heart. Strikes right at the heart. I don't think this is cursed. I think this is just the truth, really. During labor, the pain is so great that a woman can almost imagine what a man feels like when he accidentally kills his dog in Minecraft. There truly is no greater pain. Subscribe to Ina. Did he send you? Did he send you at Ricinelta on Twitter? Me and the boys in creative mode. Oh, fat sheep. That's not cursed. That's great. I love that. Imagine if you shaved that fucker, how much wool he would give you. You could make like six beds out of that bitch. Evil men have created these images to hurt us on this day, friends. This guy came packing. He's got like a whole fucking thread of this shit. Just a fat ocelot. That's fair. Just a bunch of fucking... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a. Okay, let's just insert a joke here about how I've seen enough about this given topic to last a lifetime before cleverly transitioning into my 30 minute long outro, which is what always manages to get my video over that 10 minute mark. After that, we can be on our way. Thanks for tuning in, lads. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. Like I said, if you wanna find out when I'm going live on Twitch, you can go to twitch.tv slash quite to find out when I'm live. Just follow me there and all that shit. If you wanna check out my merch, go to quiteshop.com. Shit is slick. I have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Loudmouse. We upload one new episode every week on Saturdays and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, you can do so by clicking that join button next to the subscribe button and donating $5 a month to get things like custom badges and custom emotes. It's totally optional, but it helps out the channel and it is much appreciated. You can follow me on Twitter at quite and on Instagram at quite.png. Links to both of those in the description below. And lastly, I also have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you're interested. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I'll see you guys next time.